Hello. Hello. Uh, we're doing a roundtable conversation. I'm Ferdinand Habsburg. I raced in Le Mans in the car 31 for WRT. First time in Le Mans and uh, first win. Uh, still getting over it and still waiting to celebrate it, but uh, that's my experience and go on to you. Oh, I'm Julian Canal, uh, the 12th participation of Le Mans. Three wins, quite far, in 2010, 11 and 12. And uh, this oh, year... You look so young. Yeah, <laughs> thanks, <laughs> thanks. We did the third in Le Mans. Unfortunately for the car uh, WRT, uh, we, we had this podium, but we are really happy to, to again uh, go on this podium because we did uh, also third last year, so that's a really nice feeling. Well, I'm François Perraudot. Uh, it's my ninth participation in Le Mans this year and uh, first victory with the car 83, the Ferrari 488 with AF course in GT Am. So it was my fourth podium, three in GT, one in LMP2, but first victory, so super happy with that. I'm Matteo Cressoni, is the fourth uh, participation in Le Mans, always uh, with the Ferrari. The, this year uh, I reached a dream to be on the podium as uh, the third, and uh, I hope to, to be again on the podium as a winner, probably as uh, Francois already had uh, this experience. And uh, that's all, for, it has been really a great experience for me. I feel like everybody would have wanted ABS in Le Mans when it rained in the night. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And at the start. Yeah, yeah true. Start. Did any of you guys do the... the start? For me it was uh, Robin, yeah. Robin Franz. I take the start. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. How was it? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly it was uh, really nice, the, the first uh, three laps, because I was on the full wet. Okay. And uh, I gained a lot of position close to the podium immediately. Then after three laps uh, the, the track is drying up uh, quite quickly. But anyway, uh, to start in Le Mans and even my fourth participation, I never did one lap on the rain. Was uh, not so <laughs> exactly yeah. was not so nice, but uh, uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, we finish. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't take the start, and I was very happy not to take the start, considering <laughs> it was mayhem. I remember yeah. there was a P2 in the gravel yeah. right from the right from the start. There was a contact between the Glickenhaus and the Toyota. Yeah. So it was, uh, yeah, it was pretty leery. I think we, we made a good bet, actually. I think uh, Niklas, Niklas Nissen was the guy in the, yeah. in the car at the start, and we, we pitted quite early for slick tires, which was maybe a tad, tad too early. He struggled for a couple of laps, but then it paid off. One year it's Ferrari, one year it's Porsche, one year it's Aston Martin. I mean, this year, you know, it's like... It's cool to see Corvette do so well. Well, that's the thing. That I mean, cool. in free practice and in quality, Corvette were absolutely nowhere. And in the race, bam, you know, they're fighting for victory against Ferrari. Yeah, and, you know, it's, even, it, even the Aston. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, true. And that's how it is, you know, it's like, yes, people, com people, people will always complain, but I think we're going to see more of it in, uh, from 2023 in Hypercar. Well, we were leading for 17 hours um, and we were, we were fast, we made no mistakes. And then three hours from the end, our um, air jack broke. Yeah, we see on the exactly. On the TV, yeah. And so we couldn't change tires anymore. And there was three cars on the lead lap. It was us, uh, the 41 car who was 40 seconds behind us, and the Joyta who finished second. And uh, we, uh, the, obviously there's confusion when the air jack breaks. We couldn't lift the car up, so we had to put these um, the airbags. Inside, inside we only got the front up, so we changed the, the fronts, put Robin in the car, and I had my quadruple stint rears on the back. So he went a fifth stint on the rears with new fronts. So it was a shopping trolley. Yeah and then uh, came in, changed the rears, and then we were like, we need to finish the race like this with five stints to go. So we did uh, six stints on the front axle and five stints on the rear. Bloody hell. Wow. And uh, <laughs> that's why we were losing four okay. seconds a lap at the end. Yeah. But uh, we were like, we're going to be second. Oh, so we that's why the Jota is catching up so quickly in the end. So yeah, the, we lost P P1 in the pit lane because we it was so long to yeah. get the airbag deflated. Yeah. And um, I saw some mechanics and jump exactly, uh, over exactly. the car on the rear too. Yeah, it was dramatic, but I was like, yeah. get a freaking knife and cut it if we're not going to use it again. Um, but yeah, we had like three hours to accept that we were going to finish second. But it was like, it's still our first attempt. I think it was a really cool result, first Podium and second. On the first attempt. Yeah. And, uh, WRT won two as well. Exactly. So we were quite content, let's say. And then that was so tricky for the other car because on the last lap, they had an electrical failure and um, uh, they, they stopped and uh, lost everything, you know? And uh, they lost it there. And it was super confusing in the garage with just utter, utter heartbreak. 
and uh, and pure joy on the other one. So because who took the checkered flag? Robin, Robin Franz. So it's him who almost cut the legs of the... Exactly, exactly. The Let's flag say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you well, see so that? When, yeah. when you said falterous race, I was like, well, we had a few oh. bumps on the way. <laughs> that was a good save, huh? Yeah, yeah, no, it was... We were lucky. But uh, yeah, with the last three hours in that garage was insane. And we were all we were all shouting. We were all quite quite keen, quite excited. And you know, for me, it's it's quite special because I live in Le Mans. I was born in Le Mans, you so I, I come to my house every wow. <laughs> every night in the in the race week, except the Saturday night. But That's quite cool. Uh, for us, uh, honestly, it was really nice because the uh, the first time on the podium for a team, the, the, this new team, Iron Links, uh, they did a really amazing job. And also, with my teammate, it was the first time uh, for Kalu, Ido. Yeah. He's uh, basically the driver that is still fighting for Formula One. Yeah. And it was uh, his first uh, 24 hour. At the beginning, the first stint, he was a little bit too much uh, excited, no? With the, <laughs> with the overtake. It's yeah, it's normal. But uh, honestly, we have a quite clear race and uh, not so many trouble. Uh, we had a nice fight, uh, yeah, you know, then with the safety car sometimes yeah. it's not really easy because it's, you can gain a lot of time or you yeah. can use... Uh, slow zones. Yeah, yeah exactly. Slow come zones. at the right time. That, that's really down yeah. to luck. Yeah, exactly. you, can, you can be on the right part of the track exactly. or the wrong part mm. and sometimes you can gain huge yeah. amounts, you can yeah. lose huge amounts. Mm. But I think that we've been quite lucky because on the first hint of Calum he has a really con a contact with another GTE. We crash uh, completely the, the front and we did uh, all the, the race like this. Fortunately, without, uh, yeah, for sure we lose a uh, performance, but uh, we finish the race and, uh, and the podium is always a podium. I hope to have another chance in the next years. I'll tell you what was nice this year also is the return of the public. Uh, yeah. Last year we were lucky to be on the podium as well, we finished third. Yeah. And I mean, it's nice. It's a podium, yeah, well, but it was so sad. Yeah. You were there with no one, yeah. And there was absolutely yeah. no one. I mean, there's just basically your mechanics, and that's it. And you're like, yeah. wow, that's that's a bit uh, that's a bit depressing. To be honest, I I I, um, I was in the um, in the I was first in battle uh, with uh, the Letras yeah. at this time, and we were with uh, at 11 p.m. They can screw your race, huh? Yeah, they can really screw. With really you. nice, and we were with the Glicon House. Yeah, yeah. And to be honest, I, I closed the door two, three times to yeah. the Glicon House because yeah. they are not so fast during yeah. the night. Yeah. They take care of the car or something. Yeah. And I closed some door because I said, oh, fuck. I, 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 I am yeah, yeah, in my race. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you have to just finish the race. Yeah. I remember when, when I was going to the podium. So I'm going to change the conversation to like the winning because I think the viewers want to, want to know what that's like because it's so foreign. Uh, I got a message on my phone from my teammate here, Richard Bradley, who won in P2 in I want to say 15 or 16 or something and uh, he sent me a message like his biggest regret um, after winning was not recognizing how big it is. It's a special race yeah. Yeah. it's a real I mean there's just something about that race you know it's like it's it's not the best track in the world but the, but the, the race itself the whole week the mystique the legend you know I mean it, that, that's what makes it unique you know it's just it's unbelievable. Cool yeah, guys, guys. Well, really nice, nice talking to you Thank Thank you. Been really good nice luck for this nice. weekend. Yeah, yeah. equally. Yeah. equally. Cool. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you. Uh, Roger, l'addition, s'il te plaît. <laughs>